Hey, best friends, this is Brian Deach, and today we're gonna to talk about zero trust and why VPN is just the tool that's never gonna get you there. Now, when we think about VPN, it's usually an appliance that's living at the data center. And what is it doing? Well, it's there to kind of broker connectivity between our users and our internal applications. And when we look at this, there's one fundamental flaw in VPN, which is if I can reach it, I can breach it. Yes, this thing is sitting here listening for users to come in and talk to it, but it's also listening to the anonymous internet. That's the first problem. Two, on VPN, you're taking these users that are off the network and you're putting them onto the network. Effectively, when they're on the network, they kind of have the ability to talk to you anything there might not be a firewall in between, right? So maybe this user doesn't have a reason to talk to the database. Maybe they do, you don't know, right? You're just putting them on the network and allowing them to interact with these applications and this becomes very, very messy. Now, some of the more critical things, your safeguarding PCI, I get it, it's back behind a firewall, but what happens if this user just happens to be someone that can talk behind there? Again, we're putting this user on the network and allowing them to kind of bounce around in here and introduce risk into the organization. And on top of that, you have connectivity back over to your branch offices, your factory locations, where that user can bounce around down over here as well and kind of wreak havoc. Additionally, if a user's on VPN, they can like open up Nmap and do a port scan of the entire network. And so, yeah, they might not know initially that application of three exists, but like a tool like Nmap would show them everything. So let's look at this from more of a more cloud native security approach. So number one, friends don't let friends deploy VPNs. I said it once, I'll say it again, they are insecure. Get rid of the concentrator entirely. Let's take this user off the network because putting users on the network is yucky. And the way that we accomplish zero trust is with the Zscare cloud or the zero trust exchange. We have an agent. The sole goal of this agent is to send traffic to the Zscare cloud. Now you might be looking at this and saying, well, how do I get traffic from the cloud back over here? If you're telling me to get rid of VPN, do we use like a dark alleyway? Absolutely not. That's how Batman's parents died. And our secret sauce here is that we have a little lightweight VM and it's this inside out connectivity where this thing isn't listening for traffic coming in. It's securely reaching outbound to the zero trust exchange. Now the cool part here is this little Zscaler VM it has that application adjacency. You can talk to these internal things throughout the environment. But it's key to note that policy enforcement's not done here at the agent or done over here in the, uh, the VM. It's always done in the zero trust exchange. So when we think about it, you don't have a VPN to deploy. You can't reach it, you can't breach it because it's dark. Same thing with all your internal applications. If this user opens up Nmap with Zscaler and they're at my house, the only thing they're gonna see is a Raspberry Pi Epson printer maybe an Apple TV, they're not gonna see this plethora of information. And last but not least, they can't bounce around in the network like a field mouse that's leaving a path of destruction, going over to the branch, the factory. And when you start to think about the threat actors that are out there, they're gonna get in, they're gonna move laterally, they're gonna exfilt your data, compromise the identity, and then move on. Really, the zero trust way of doing things, keep the users off the network, identify the users, posture them, and I want you to think of it like this way. Your internal applications from this day forward, you're gonna access them like you would Office 365. You can get there if you have identity, authorization, posturing the device, but never again will you be on the network because why? Putting users on the network is yucky. And that's my time. Hopefully you appreciate this video and I'll talk to you soon.